It's maybe uh, you hear maybe in um, big backgrounds sounds uh, because I'm uh, on my way to move from my special place where I normally sit and recording but I had to change uh, change my uh, computer because of this Wi-Fi error I had and I have uh, plug in the the cord for internet in directly into the computer instead to have a Wi-Fi so I have to move my uh, uh, equipment for for the computer uh, closer to to the cable and um, the cord cable and um, so I I can uh, work with it better in that way that I can read for you or or uh, look up something if I am not sure about something uh, because it's easier when I sit here in my special place in my sofa and and I see my computer uh, there on the, uh, in the office desk and um, it was about uh, today uh, I should explain more about uh, the, this with Emmanuel and uh, I think uh, something uh, I felt like I was restless this morning I don't know what what uh, it is why I felt like that it was not a mental thing it's a spirit thing and uh, I I went out early in the morning and uh, did some things I don't didn't need to do this morning but I did it as I wanted to only step out from this home be outside and before it be very uh, hot weather because we are going to have a very very hot day here in Sweden it's gonna be about 85 degrees or more here so so it's gonna be uh, terrible maybe in the lunch time so I was thinking I can drive out in the morning and then I drive out in in the evening when the, when the, it's not so very hot at least the sun that has going down a little and it it feels like I already have a spirit on me so I I don't know what will coming it's that way I have the window open on one side of my home so it can be background noise from from the windows also today but uh, this about Emmanuel we we come to know from the spirits that the in heaven there is no names people don't those spirits that is in heaven they don't have a name on each other because uh, first is it that every everyone is like a, a whole family uh, they there is no your kids your father like that in heaven it, everyone is one in heaven and uh, in heaven there is only one day so you don't need to stress 
you don't need to have your must, I must do this and I, uh, this, because it's a whole day and it lasts forever, uh, that, that day, so you can relax and calm down and and not be worried about anything because it's gonna give you and we have learned also this is like a like a summary um, a review of uh, uh, what we have been said and I think it, it's the spirit here that want me to talk like th- this and uh, it's it's this uh, that you don't need any food in heaven. Why should you kill uh, kill animals to eat? That you don't do, and you there is uh, those uh, trees and fruit and these things that's a living thing, and. Uh, we have learned in that way that they can move from place to place uh, in the whole universe. They can visit a planet somewhere in one of these milliard solar system we have in the universe. Uh, it's not only our solar system we have it's all it's all over the universe and and they can visit it by only thinking it and they are there on that place that they want to go to and uh, and in some way we have to understand this that we don't need to be worried about what to eat and where to sleep we, we, it's the same thing that uh, we are spirit doesn't need any literally food it need energy that is not energy from food it's energy coming in the air in the Uh, the spirit say uh, he he want to explain it for you in uh, one episode by itself he say uh, so go on and talk what you should say and um, so I I should not talk so much about heaven more than they don't need to have name on each other because they know each other in another way of uh, knowing uh, how they act and what they are saying these things and they know each other by heart in the heart they know each other uh, so they communicate in another way than what we do here on earth. So they don't need those same thing that we need to have here on earth. So you have to stop thinking in that way that because I need that, they also need that. It doesn't work in that way that what you need here on earth is what you need here on earth and that is not for heaven so when they are talking the angel come and say uh, that a virgin should be with child and the the I wait a little because I I get some knowledge here from the spirit. Uh, And the angel come and say to this woman that 
was with a child and she said the angel this child should be called Immanuel. And that is not directed to heaven, it was directed to earth. Something was going on on earth. And I have Oh, the spirit so much over me. <laughs> I, I laugh because I love it. It's um, what the angel was saying is what will, will happen. It was not about the name. And, uh, and I say, uh, those people that uh, study the Bible. And they say, it, Immanuel means, Imanu, that means with us. And El, Manuel, in the end this is El, and that means God. So God with us. It, and that was, when they talking like that from heaven, is it not a name they talking about? They talking some event that will happen, and uh, that I have already uh, teach you about this, but it's coming together more, so I get knowledge, um, better knowledge, more knowledge. It was good the first one. But this is more that a child, a virgin should be with child. And that means, I have talked about it, that a child means a project, something that should take place. It doesn't mean literally a human. It means something will take place. And, and the virgin, she was not a virgin in sexuality. It was not about that. She was clean in her way to see life. That we put together God with us. And clean vessel, a project, a vessel inside her was taking place. That's what the angel was talking about. It was not how, how it is interpret because those that interpret they see it from the world from the earth they see that but by knowing heaven we also understand what was going on when they target earth and talking to earth that something will happen from now when the angel was speaking and that is gonna be a project that uh, a heavenly project of course not a worldly heavenly as the angel come from heaven and uh, and may, and uh, it will take place in a clean in, in a clean environment and the and God will be with this project. I say project, but it's it was uh, someone was born. But it was not only that it was born, that's a child, a male child. It was what this was on its way to happen in about 33 years that was the project 
that was what he was born to be uh, to do this um, messenger and uh, talking to people about God and his kingdom and God was with him because Jesus could talk to God and uh, now I say something that is not really for this subject but uh, today I was and many times today it was someone writing to me that uh, by the spirit uh, will be we will see the the spirit if they they uh, accept Jesus Christ they say and and it's a uh, target me that I am am a, um, a false prophet I'm a false prophet and uh, and they don't know those people that that uh, write me these things they have never listened at my podcast so they don't know what's going on here because uh, uh, what uh, it's these people on Facebook that I have since two, 2007 and they be they go sometimes and say these things to me on my posts and I don't tell them everything what's going on because I want people to listen at my podcast and understand what is going on. I am living my life in peace so it's very seldom someone can make me go angry. I try to hold the peace the whole time but I'm only human so I can be angry sometimes but it's uh, going off me very quick and uh, so they saying this that I I have never say that uh, Jesus is wrong because Jesus have coming here and talk and he is my brother and he is my cousin I am in his in the lin- li- lineage he ha- is in my DNA so why should I talk bad about him because Jesus is Jesus and uh, I have only t- say that Jesus is not God that's the only thing and the Bible doesn't say that uh, that who denied Jesus to be God it doesn't say that uh, that a false prophet doesn't admit admit that Jesus Christ was born here on earth that he was born here on earth not in heaven he was here and he come out from a woman so that woman was was special woman it was someone that God had picked to carry this child in her so it should not be that uh, women should look be looked down in islam they don't look at mary in that way they 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 understand that she was carrying a prophet because they see jesus as a prophet and and because that she was carrying a prophet that god Allah place that child in her womb it make her special make her holy so they they are very much of see Mary as a special woman and uh, 
and today also they they uh, al- they uh, allow and listen at women at as a prophet so islam have coming more more uh, into the future understand this that christianity doesn't understand that there is women be born today that is prophets and uh, no maybe not many i don't know i i can only tell for myself i'm a prof- prophet because god is talking to me so that it's um so this uh, uh, emmanuel I'm going back to I I take Emmanuel to to pull me back to the subject of today Emmanuel I my mother told me when I was born that an angel come and the angel carry me with her and when she give me to my mother she say that her name should be Anna Anna and uh, uh, by look at Emmanuel uh, that means God with us Anna it means grace and that is God's grace and that that um, it's uh, the same thing that I should have been called Anna. I was named, I was baptized Anna. That's my real first name. But my parents changed it, so I got my second name instead to be called. So Anna is only be there on the paper but there is and uh, we don't know uh, what uh, Jesus had more names he, he was not I I don't believe that he had only one name so maybe he, his name was Emmanuel but he was called Jesus so that's only what I am thinking that it maybe have been so because uh, this that my parents changed it they didn't want Anna be uh, call me Anna so I got the name Eva and I have a double name and I don't use the double name I cut it off so it was only Eva because I don't like the double name uh, and sometimes I have named myself uh, to be Anna so that uh, means in the Bible was it a prophet her name was Anna and in Hebrew Hebrew the name was Hannah it's the same thing Anna and Hannah and um, so uh, an angel uh, told my mother about me and uh, that the name uh, there is the name coming from heaven doesn't mean names it means what will come to take place here on earth so it have it's uh, it's uh, interpret of people that it should be a name when it isn't a name and that's why Emmanuel is so was so confusing why why didn't Jesus get the name Emmanuel when the angels say that but it was not the name 
it have not been in the name. So that's I should have have recorded. Uh, I should have um, play a part of it. I will see because now I I didn't remember what it was. I was on my way to listen it. So I I play on my computer. Someone is here um, because I, you hear I I I take in the in something in in my body and uh, it uh, it is this uh, that I saw in the air was uh, shifting like someone outside is it some black butterflies now it's many of them like they want to come in here and uh, black butterflies means uh, people that have passed away and that uh, is their there is in not soul it's the spirits that is flying like a butterfly and this uh, spirit is talking about the butterfly that you have seen these butterflies in your own and uh, you should not kill them you should not harm them because that's a spirit of your of someone that want to talk to you and you should not not kill the spirit he is saying this is it's a special person he is he is not uh, in our body shape he's much bigger than our body normal body he's bigger he's it's um, it was about this um, spirit that come that I should talk about that I forget. <coughs> he uh, he he was uh, when he was talking of these butterflies. I think uh, in some way they come with him. Uh, that it was he that make the black butterfly coming because uh, I was outside after I recording and there was no black butterflies in my garden it was only those white butterflies and uh, so it had with him to do that he he came with other spirits and uh, I think I can have wrong, but I think uh, they were with him to support him in that way to tell you to not kill black butterflies because it's them the spirits, and I don't know uh, in the hierarchy where they are those black spirits but I think it's those that I'm allowed to to touch earth is those spirits that is on the meadow they are not in the in the gold the city of gold they are uh, they they had to have him with them so uh, it was someone that stopped my recording here someone 
is very powerful energy that is here now that stop my recording and um, it's a big hand in the air now and uh, he's saying something will come to take place something he says something bigger than you can think about and expect it to come he said he's up in the ceiling with his hand and suddenly it was a strong strong energy so it took everything for some seconds so um, I ask him if it have something that is a, a little uh, time or before I go to Israel or if I, when I fly to Israel is it about Israel that you are coming and talking about now we say this I will show you he say so that's God that is talking now because that was what he was saying that night I wake up with because it was a, a bright light in my room in the night in the darkness it was a bright light and I didn't know what to do next day and he come God come and he say that I should go to a church and I ask him uh, what sh church should I go to I didn't know any church in that time because I was homeless in United States and I was not in into churches so I asked him what church should I go to and he said I will show you and then I asked him I didn't know what to do in the church I had not been in the church so I asked him what should I say uh, to the church I ask him and then he will he say I will show you that's what he's saying twice and now he's saying this for the third third time so something will take place but he don't want me to to know it but he now he's telling me that he will lead me so I will not have any fear that I am going astray that I I lo lost the focus he say I will I will show you he say and I should not have fear for what what will happen and not what happened but fear for that i i have talked to god about it yesterday i was saying to god that i don't want to be like moses that did never come to the promised land i say that yesterday i don't want to be like moses i want uh, I want to, uh, I want to, uh, it is not my will, but I say that I want to fulfill my work. I will, I, I want to ending my work because it has been very much suffering. But it's also have been very much knowledge of what's going on and it have healed me. 
and um, and they, it have it's uh, I think it's better to suffering and get all these other things to it than to to not have suffering and then not know anything what's uh, really matter um, to not have this knowledge that heaven have given me and um, I'm a little disturbing of this in the background sounds um, but uh, uh, now I come back uh, it was the same thing that uh, I, when I was uh, living with uh, this Muslim family and I was working for them very hard and and they were not nice to me and and uh, one one evening I went up to my bed and I was so tired of working so hard so I only could lay on the bed with all my clothes on and uh, fall to sleep there and I was laying holding my arms out like I was on the cross and I asked God to heal me and he say that if I heal you you will never could heal people again you will never could do that and then I say to God that that's why I was born I was born to heal people and you know healing is not only the body healing is everything and uh, so I say uh, it was uh, just when he talking I can take away the those pain I can heal you uh, God say and uh, in that moment I didn't have any pain I had very much pain in in that evening uh, in my body and he took everything away and say that uh, but if if I heal you you will never could heal anyone again and I say bring back and uh, I was stupid in that way that I asked God to bring more pain uh, in me and uh, and suddenly I got all the pain back and it was so much pain so I was like lifted up in the air and when I lay in there over the bed in the air then I heard God saying this to me out of suffering comes healing and I understand that today, but I didn't understood when he said that to me. But it is, it's not smooth if you doing God's will for uh, for real. If you walk away from everything that you had, every comfort, and go into the wildness, the wild life that I did uh, for 1260 days I was in the wildness and I had no no uh, security never uh, any network around me I was on my own but I was not on my own in the spirit way but I was total alone on earth and with no source I have no no money I didn't have any home I had no friends I have no family I had nothing I didn't even have my country 
because I was in the United States and I live in Sweden. So and that's what this was saying and I am I should not I don't need to be curious about what what will happen and I and no fear. God told me here now that I should not have any fear to lose the track to to lose my way. He holded it for me. So so it has something with Israel to do, but maybe something more on its way. I don't know. I don't know one second from now. So I don't know. And uh, it will take place what will take place in God's will. So um, I end here. It's been a long episode once again because I love to talk to you and I love to talk to God God come it was wonderful thank you for listening and God bless you